This is the MCS Female Sci-Fi Bundle. And uh, if you haven't seen the first video, please check that out because you have to import the character first. This bundle doesn't actually come with the character. Once you've done that, uh, go ahead and go into this and import it into the package. I'm going to put this on pause while it finishes importing into my system because that takes a little while. So uh, you can see that white window is starting to pop up here. I'm going to pause it, import it, and then restart it again once, um, once it gets started. There we go. Dude, you can come in. It's cool. Get out of Just checking in real quick. It's still importing. Just to give you guys some perspective, this thing is still importing. It takes time. Hang in there. Okay, it is finished importing. Uh, that probably took about 10 minutes. So, alright, once that's done, you're going to notice that you've got a new folder here in your project settings called Content Packs. So, under Content Packs, go ahead and go into the Sci Fi Female folder. Uh, let's go into the hair folder. Now this is going to work a lot like the first video when we added hair and clothing, but we'll just go through it anyway. So for example, if you want to add this ponytail, um, once you find it, the first thing you want to do is go back to the hierarchy, click the character, and then in the inspector, go down to where it says show content packs, and expand that out. Now down here, um, just X that out, it says new, you want to drag and drop the hair into where it says new. And let that go. Now, why it's creating this really long weave, I don't know. That's kind of craziness. So, if it doesn't work out, you can always disable it. Or you can come into the hierarchy over here, find the weave, and hit delete. Now, let's try a different hair. Maybe the red hair will behave properly. So, same process, you find the actual object. Uh, if you expand it out, you can see all the pieces, the avatar. So you go female light, and you go to show content package. You can see it's still listed. Now if I exit, it's not going away. I'm just going to ignore that. You go to red hair, and drag and drop it into new, and let go of it. Now this is also creating some crazy ass anchor points. As to why it's doing that, it says object is not a reference. See, so it's throwing a lot of errors over here. It's going to open Visual Studio because I double click something. We'll get rid of that in a moment. Um, so, clearly, this isn't a totally clean process, but we kind of digress from our original intention of loading up the costumes. So, I'll get rid of all these things. In fact, we'll delete the original Genesis model out of here, too. Uh, and we'll drag her back into the scene. So, from the top, Morph 3D. We'll go into the starter pack folder, female, there's the character, drag and drop that onto the canvas, and then we'll go back to the content pack. Now, the first pack we had to re-import, this you don't need to re-import after it finishes. Sci-fi, we'll go to outfits, and we'll do Shinjuku. It's kind of a cool Tron outfit. So the first, you got to click on the character, and then go to the Show Content Packs folder and drag and drop that left click, drag drop onto that new. And that actually looks pretty good. The costume attached to the character it looks clean. It's not tearing or anything like that. So that's good. Actually, there is a little bit of tear there. <laughs> um, Let's say we don't want that. You can click it in the hierarchy and hit delete and pick a different pack. So maybe retro sci-fi is more what you're looking for. Same process. Click the character in the hierarchy. Left click, left click, drag the clothing over to the show content package panel. Get to fold it down first and drop it under new. Which isn't showing up. Daz, fix your shit. <laughs> 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 this one's bracelets. She tells that bracelets. Oh, man. I really don't want to re record this again. Let's try this one more time. MS Female. Show content pack. Now I see these things are listed. I'm going to X. Hit the actual X on there. This X here? Like, no, the actual the X. The one I'm clicking? To the, right. to the right. Like, it's in the middle. 
It's in the middle. Okay. Like the actual. Dude, I'm not seeing what you're talking about. Actual. Hit the actual X. Like, sorry. That. Dude, I'm pressing it. Like this X, though. Like that doesn't do anything? X? Yeah. Exactly. I thought that maybe that would do something, but I guess not. Never mind. Yeah, that's pretty weird. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Dude, that chair. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's okay. We'll just delete that. Rum the top. Let's do light, female, drag, drop. So now normally it totally works fine. Clothing. Or not clothing, sorry. Show content package. Nothing associated with the character. So now we're going back to the sci fi kit. We're going back to. We'll do the outfit. We'll go to the battle suit. Maybe the battle suit works. Left click, drag, drop into the show content package. Battle suit is looking good. That's like Tron right there. Pretty clean. Let's see if we can give her some hair. So sci-fi, female, hair, um, sparkle hair, yeah, why not, we'll do sparkle, see what that looks like. So clicking on her in the hierarchy, show content package, drag and drop sparkle hair into the thing, not bad, it's not tearing or anything like that. So there we have it, kind of a train wreck, some of those things didn't work at all, some of them seem to be working pretty well. So if we click the X's now to get rid of the sparkle hair, it actually does work. I think the problem was they weren't in the hierarchy, so the X's don't update. Like I deleted them before hitting the X. Um, that might have been the problem there. So let's try it. Let's try that weave again. I want to see if it tears the Kikio ponytail. Female, show content pack, drag drop. Yeah, what the <laughs> hell is going on with that? Like, damn, man. <laughs> Daz, tell me something. What is really good? Like, is that is that what's hot right now? Is that what's new? Let's give her some clothes, some decency here. This looks like a kinky show, man. Like. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it's your content pack. Same way we've been adding things forever. You can see listed under here. There's the hair. You disable it, but I mean, why would you want to, right? Because that's what's up. And then we'll go to <laughs> female lights, outfits. No, oh, that's the wrong one. Sorry. We're going to concept pack, sci-fi, outfits. Let's try mech girl. That's a cool outfit. So we'll click her in the hierarchy, and again, same pattern, show content packs, and drag and drop it under new to attach to the character. And that's looking pretty cool. So here we have her. With the exception of the hair, <laughs> things are looking pretty good. Uh, I don't know what to say about that hair, though. Other than, wow. Yep, so hopefully you found this helpful. The gist of it is, import the package onto a character that's already into the canvas, and drag and drop it into the show contents pack. As to why it's doing crazy stuff with the hair and some of the clothing, I don't know. If you know, please leave me a comment. I would like to know what's up with that business. Thanks, guys. Hopefully that helps.